Welcome to Dragon Law Gaming, where gaming and the law intersect. I am your host, Dragon. I bring you another Dragon Champions video. We are having another update. 1.1.26 is going to be released this week. Here's what's going to be coming. Uh, the video in the background is background video uh, from half of my tower run today. I decided to go ahead and record that so you can kind of see it in the background. Uh, so that's kind of doing a little something different. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. So I just recorded some gameplay and thought I would throw that on there for you guys. Uh, it's been a long day for me. This is a end of a 14 hour work day. Uh, saw this post this morning uh emerald dragon posts into the announcements on the discord uh hello dragon champions hello champions this week we'll be releasing dragon champions uh version 1.1.26 and here's what's new increased drop rates uh they're going to increase the drop or increase the drop rates for green ability scrolls in the towers which is awesome looking forward to getting that they're also going to increase are they're going to have new battle groups and tournaments so the battle groups are going to be 30 to 33 34 to 43 43 to 51 52 to 59 60 to 64 65 to 69 70 and 80 what all right 70 and 80 uh it used to be 30 to 40 40 to 41 to 51 52 to uh, 60 61 to 70 71 to 80 right these are going to start as of november 29th um so here in just a few days well they're also going to add one more 70 to 80 group as well uh so do keep that in mind the up they're going to update rewards in the tournaments for the group 70 to 80 they're going to add parts such as curse madness overthrow hand of the primordial uh and the dragon veil which are desperately needed at least i know for me i definitely need them uh for my th uh for my runs they're also going to update the tournament special offers as well. Now, in addition to the hero stones, they're going to give you 300 energy, 50 auto battle tickets, and 150,000 gold. I think that's much better. Uh, personally, I was buying most of them when I gave a 600 gold or 600 energy. I was buying most of those uh, when they switched over to the gold uh keys i kind of felt like i wasn't really getting a whole lot of value out of them because i didn't necessarily need the character shards and the keys i didn't feel like i was getting a whole lot of value there on the keys that's just my opinion so i'm glad they're going to do 150,000 gold that we know now that's what we're going to get uh, and so i think that that's pretty that's pretty awesome uh it's also another new thing they're going to do for players who made for any five purchases, what they're going to do is they're going to allow you to get 120 free energy available three times a day instead of 60 free energy and then 60 from the ads. Uh, so that'll be nice. If you spend money in the game five times, you'll be able to get more, uh, more things. Uh, free energy that way by just clicking the button. So I think that's pretty nice. They're going to change the fine item functionality. It says now you can buy an item in the store directly from the search menu. Uh, two, if you are looking for fragments or components, you can see the full item in that menu. That would be awesome. I know sometimes uh, I'd like to be able to, I have to flip back and forth between the store and and the other uh, in the fine screen to see, okay, well, is this item available in the store? Is it not available in the store? I'm not really sure. And I have to flip back and forth. And I think this is going to save some time. After the first cycle of events for blue runes, they will become they'll come again with an interval of three days. Now it is once a week. So that's kind of interesting. They're gonna have a cycle for blue runes, uh, right? It used to be every now it's gonna be once a week. So that's 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 a change there. Not quite sure I understand what they mean by after the first cycle of events for blue runes that they'll come with an interval of three days now it's once a week so it looks like we'll get blue runes more often i think that's what that means um and so every three days we're going to be able to get the ability to get more blue runes which is awesome they're making or not um uh, yes blue runes so that, i think that's pretty good uh, i've 
you know, I'm not really prepared, even at 71. I have a hard time getting the runes. I don't have the characters leveled up. And so, but I think that you, when you do get the characters level up and that sort of thing, it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, last but not least, they're going to fix some synchronization errors that have occurred uh, when the game starts. They're going to fix uh, some bugs with Amara and uh, Thanessa as abilities. Uh, of course, Thanessa is the healer for goblins, but we don't really have her available yet. Um, and then some minor bug fixes and improvements. So I am super, super excited uh, for what is coming to Dragon Champions. Uh, obviously, I think that it's it just it's a great time um, to be playing this game. I am really super excited. I've got some more things coming uh, down the pipe. Um, I don't want to announce any of those yet, but they're really really they're really exciting and i'm looking forward to being able to bring you even more content uh coming as well as it seems as if uh, some of my subscribers are asking for you know team compositions uh some of the chat some of the chats that we've been having have been amazing about which characters you know on my top tier list which are good and which are bad um a lot of a lot of people said hey you forgot you forgot um <laughs> you forgot cruel why is she not a top tier uh character i think i made my explanation of that pretty clear uh for being a why i think she's a two tier two character uh maybe she is a tier one character uh but uh, i i thought those were comments were really really interesting i think that here soon i'll be able to give you a more of a uh a, a robust a, you know look at each faction look at each team that sort of stuff I'm, I'm working on that right now and i think that's going to be uh, a lot of fun and a lot of interesting like i said i think there's going to be a lot of interesting content coming down um coming soon uh to the game i am super looking forward to this these abilities right now uh i'm going to quickly jump over uh to the live game like i said i had video in the background here so i'm just gonna click over real quick into the live game and uh take a quick look uh at uh what is going on currently in the game so as you can see this is where i ended uh my tower run at the moment uh see as you can we were talking about before they're giving you the 100 gold keys uh, which is, you know, just one gold key. It's not too bad. Um, currently, the tournaments that are going on, all right, it's pretty, pretty interesting tournaments. Definitely need some XP uh, there. I let's look at the events real quick. So we're really coming up on it real close, right? We got the gladiator duel where we get more, uh, more shards, and then we have diesel rogs uh, event coming up. I will be live streaming. Um, the Diesel Rogs Fury event. I think that that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so I will live stream that. Probably not right when it starts because I have a feeling it starts pretty late. And, you know, well, it starts in the evening. So I'll probably be able to do that in the evening for me. Um, same with same with Ember's Flame. I'll live stream that event as well and talk through it. Um, so I'm looking forward to those. Those are some upcoming content as well. Uh, got got some more ability scrolls so i'm kind of holding on to those um at the present time to see you know kind of hoarding a little bit um uh, my ability my ability scrolls because i don't know what i'm gonna need for ember um let's look real quick what we're looking at what we need let me talk about diesel rog real quick i don't kind of we're so with diesel rog we need what do we need exactly we need warriors right so the warriors I plan on taking in are the warriors that I have. And somebody in my comment section to, uh, in one of my videos asked me, what am I going to use for my warriors? Um, well, I can tell you what I am going to use or what I wish I had, right? And so I think that sometimes that's that you may not you may not be happy about what you have and what you don't have. But what I currently have right now is I am going to go with Hera, Snorri, Revel, Mar, and Hard Orc. I think that that's the team I'm going to be using. Um, maybe not, maybe not Hera. I'd have to level her. I might go with Sharp um, and that way and just run Revel as the lead. But I think that this is probably the, the way I'm going to go. 
Uh, for that, I have some other options, but I think that should be enough. Um, if I, you know, if you have Puncher Face, I would definitely level him. He, I think he's a really good character. Um, and so those are the orcs that I have available. I may just level level Hera up, um, but as you can see, I, these characters here are all gear four, um, right? Gear four across the board, and then my Mars gear five, uh, gear six, or ability sixes, and that sort of stuff. And same with with hard orc. So I think that should be enough to unlock him. But like I said, we're gonna go there, and then if we're looking at Ember, very quickly. Uh, we'll look at Ember, uh, and we'll look at my my current elves, and this is my current elves situation. Obviously, I do not have Wonder Lula at six stars. I'm hoping to get a six star unlock, um, but it's gonna take s some time because once again, I I have while I have all I have ninety L and Wonder Lula there for five stars. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I am not at all invested in abilities and heals and so i think that those need to be done and so i'm kind of just hoarding i'm just kind of hoarding up to see what i need to do like i said we're going to be making decisions on the fly in the live stream about what i think it, what needs to be done so that's kind of what i'm looking to do there um so when those events start well thank you so much for being here if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you are a, um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, 71% of my subscribe or people watching my videos are not subscribed. Uh, so please hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell. Uh, so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.